Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open Magic the Gathering from the Vault Angels. So this is a very cool product. I don't know if you've seen these before, but if we open this up, you can see we get some nice foils. So let's take a look here. Open the heavens and unleash hell. Appearing in the skies above the fiercest battles, angels are known throughout the multiverse for their awesome power and terrible fury. So this contains 15 Magic the Gathering cards featuring angels. We get 15 foil cards including 5 with new art, exclusive spin down life counter and collector's guide. So let's move these out of the way. They won't be needed to do any pack blessings today. We know exactly what we're getting here, so let's check it out. And if you have not already seen, we uh, opened From the Vault Transform a fair while ago, early in the channel's history, so I'll pop a link up in the corner, you can check that out. So that was all about those flip cards. So let's get stuck into it here. Okay, so this is a collector's guide, I'm guessing. Looks like a huge poster oh that is cool okay so I don't know if we can see all of that but yeah huge angel there with skulls attached to chains very cool and then on the back what do we have here angels in magic Okay, so they're talking about that. The stories behind the cards. So, what do we got here? A Chroma Angel of Wrath, Legions, a Chroma Angel of Fury, Archangel of Strife, Aurelia the War Leader, Avicen Angel of Hope, Baneslayer Angel, Entreat to the Angels, Exalted Angel, Iona Shield of Ameria, I think that's how you say that, Iona maybe. Iridescent Angel, Genera Asura of War, Lightning Angel, Platinum Angel, Sarah Angel, the Classic, and Tariel Reckoner of Souls. Okay, so that was from Commander. That's the cool poster we got there. Alright, so if you want to read any of that in more detail, freeze frame the video. But let's see what we get here. So we get a very cool spin down here. Let's see if we can get some focus on that. So it's sort of like a, yeah, I like the, um, almost like a mother of pearl type finish to it. Red numbering and the symbol there, that's very nice. And then the three packs here. And leave a note in the comments, have you picked up this product before? What do you think? Uh, this one in particular or any of the From the Vaults? I think they're fantastic. Love all the foil cards. I wish they didn't discontinue it. Okay, so what do we get in the first pack? And I think these are stuck together pretty well. So they, yeah, they use extra, 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 extra foiling on these. So we start off with Yona, Shield of Ameria, Legendary Creature Angel 7749 Mana, holy moly. With flying as Yona, Shield of Ameria enters battlefield, choose a colour. Your opponents can't cast spells of the chosen colour. And look at that foiling, that is like the whole card is just crazily foiled, very cool. And of course that's a mythic. Next, we have Lightning Angel, Creature Angel 3-4 for 4 mana, with Flying, Vigilance and Haste, Sudden Vengeance, Echoing Fury. Let's get a closer look at that one, very nice, and it's hard to do uh, justice to these because if you look at them directly without the camera, they look even cooler in person. Okay, next we have the Platinum Angel, Artifact Creature Angel 4-4 four, four for 7 mana with flying. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. Very nice. And the classic 
Sarah Angel, Creature Angel, 4-4 four, four for 5 mana. And actually you're all, yeah, all of these so far are mythics. With Flying and Vigilance. Let's get a closer look at that. Not the original artwork. I'm not sure. You know what? I think that might be new artwork. I'll leave a note in the comments if that is the case. And here we go. Here's the one on the poster. Tariel, Reckoner of Souls. Legendary Creature Angel 474. Seven mana with flying and vigilance. Tap, choose a creature card at random from target opponent's graveyard. Put that card onto the battlefield under your control. That's a fun ability. Swiping those creature cards from your opponent's graveyard. Very nice. Okay, so that is it for the first pack. So I'm thinking, what do we get? Like five in each one of these. On to the next pack. Make sure we separate them out. Yep, sometimes they get a bit stuck together. Avison, Angel of Hope. Mythic. 8848 eight, mana with legendary with <laughs> legendary creature angel with flying vigilance and indestructible. Other permits you control have indestructible. Look at that. Another mythic. And yeah, we'll see if they're all mythics. I'm pretty sure they are. Entreat the Angels. Sorcery, 4x, x, and 3 white. Put x, 4, 4 white angel creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. And it has miracle x and 2 white. You may cast this card for its miracle cost when you draw it, if it's the first card you drew this turn. Okay, so makes it cost a bit cheaper. One less white, one less x. Pretty cool. And the next one here we have Exalted Angel, Creature Angel 4, 5, 4, 6 mana with flying. Whenever Exalted Angel deals damage, you gain that much life and it has morph 2 and 2 white. You may cast this card face down as a 2 2 creature for 3. Turn it face up at any time for its morph cost. Let's get a nice look at that one. Got a reflection of the camera there, that's sort of annoying, but there we go. Next up, we have Iridescent Angel. Creature Angel, 4-4 four, four for 7 mana with flying and protection from all colours. That makes sense. I like the wings on this thing. Pretty cool. And the last one here is, yep, Janara, Asura of War. Legendary Creature Angel, 3-3 three, three for 3 mana with flying. Pay 1 and white. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Janara, Asura of War. Wounded soldiers looked up, grateful for her appearance, but she passed over them, her eyes firmly on their foe. That is pretty cool. Look at that. I like the gold on the artwork there. really shines. Okay, so on to the last pack here. I almost wish they had a few more in here. It's 15, not many cards, so you're paying... I think this was uh, like... 75 and it was probably cheaper when it came out probably closer to 40 so at the current rate you're paying about five bucks a card and of course you would have seen me popping up the prices throughout the video so we'll see if I did well out of this but I'm hanging on to these I'm collecting these so not too concerned about the value okay so let's get some focus here a chroma angel of wrath Legendary Creature Angel, 6-6, six, 4-8 six, mana with Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, Protection from Black and from Red. Holy moly, how much more protection from things do you want? Fantastic. A Chroma Angel of Fury. Legendary Creature Angel, 6-6, six, 4-8 six, mana. A Chroma Angel of Fury can't be counted. Flying, Trample, Protection from White and from Blue. Okay, so the Wrath was Protection from Black and Red, and this one's White and Blue. Okay. Pay a Red, a Chroma Angel of Fury gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn, and Morph for three and three Red. You may cast this card face down as a 2-2 two, two creature for three. Turn it face up any time for its Morph cost. Okay, so you can imagine the opponents wondering what this is, because I don't think you have to reveal it. Face down and then flip it, and you get this magnificent angel here. Alrighty. 
Next we have Archangel of Strife. Creature Angel, what a surprise! But this is not a legendary. Is this the first non-legendary? No, we've got another one there. Okay. Six, six, four, seven mana with flying. As Archangel of Strife enters the battlefield, each player chooses war or peace. Creatures controlled by players who chose war get plus three, plus zero. And creatures controlled by players who chose peace get plus zero, plus three. Okay, so either bumping up the power or toughness. That is very cool. I like the shield there. Okay, how many have we got? We've got two more to go. Aurelia, the War Leader. Legendary Creature Angel, three, four, four, six mana with Flying Vigilance Haste. Whenever Aurelia, the War Leader, attacks for the first time each turn, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Fantastic. And finally, yep, this is the last one. Bane Slayer Angel. Creature Angel, five, five, for five mana with flying first strike lifelink protection from demons and from dragons so that's what you need if your uh, opponent has some uh, especially if you're playing commander if they've got like a demon deck or dragons other theme this would come in pretty handy and again oh look at that you can see the glowing along the the border it's pretty cool okay so let's see if I can pick a favorite here I'm gonna lay them all out so it's going to be tough. Uh, leave a note in the comments which one is your favorite angel of these. Um, let's see here. So many choices. Pop this one up here. Okay, so... Ooh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I'm going to have to say this one is the coolest I think out of the lot if I can ever get it in focus keep wanting to focus on everything else okay there we go so a chroma angel of fury is my pick from the bunch here but that's pretty tough competition here all right so leave a note in the comments what you think of this product do you think they should bring back from the vault with more crazy foils like this and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.